Hey guys and welcome back to the harsh and unforgiving world of post Phenem, where we are actually on the quest to rebuild civilization. We have finally started the civilization quest and in here we need to get all of these things which is not actually too difficult because most of these things tick over just with time given all the things and machines that we have set up over time but we have a problem with clay clay being the most awkward of things to get now there are several ways we could uh, go about getting it one of the most uh, obvious ways is in fact the bees but for some reason I've decided that is not the way we're gonna do it the way we're gonna do it today is going via this chemical injection chamber now unfortunately it's not just a one-step build process you see this down here this gas tank full of water vapor uh, I can't quite point at the water vapor but <clears throat> full of water vapor. This actually takes another machine, a rotary condenser, something like that. Let's have a look. Rotary. This rotary condensator or something like that. Concentrator? Yeah, I don't know. That's a weird word. If you want to try and like, have a crack at pronouncing that, you go ahead. But we're going to try and gather up all this stuff here. Now, the vast majority of stuff, relatively easy. We've got these kicking around. I just happen to have one of those kicking on the side of the uh, the desk behind us. In fact, let's let's go start rounding some of it up. So like This here I happen to have so we're gonna grab that portable tank in this box here we've Got a few of these basic uh, basic wires. We need at least two of those and of course two of these control circuits Let's start putting everything to the side there This gas tank is gonna take a lot of osmium We will come back to that because osmium is got from a very specific place this energy tablet on the other hand bit more difficult so let's try and get that on the go as well we can get two more universal cables a basic control circuit so two more universal cables basic control circuit a couple of industrial capacitors and electrical steel okay so it turns out that energy tablet wasn't very hard to make I am all behind things not being too hard to make of course okay so that goes there that goes there this is already charging I did not want it to be charging quite like that okay we now need to make the glass in fact I think we should be able to use a trick that we discovered last time let's have a look one two three four so we want to turn this into ordinary glass so we just put it in there like this and go oh yeah this is in the wrong place why did I think that belonged there? I cannot remember off the top of my head why I thought that went there. Yeah, I really had it in my head that that was that. Okay, so the osmium. This is going to be a little bit more difficult. If we come over yonder, you can see that the osmium, we only have 114. Let's take out... I don't want to take out the entire stack, but let's take out some sort of multiples of 16. Do we have more than 16 in there? We can take another 16 out. That, that's good. We'll take it up to 32. All right, and we're going to see how many we get here. I can't remember how many you get per stack. Once again, we run into the, oh, I really wish I could. Ah, ah it's a very much a, um, a shaped crafting. Okay, let's figure that one out. Top left, top left. Okay, I must have just put it in a very slightly wrong place. Okay, brilliant. So from a stack and a half, we get six. We needed two more. We don't have the don't have the uh, equipment, actual osmium element for that. So what I'm going to do is take my camel pack off and put my jet pack on. And we are going on a grand adventure, guys. Oh, this might not be the best time of day for it. But we're going to do it anyway. We are definitely going to do it anyway. I probably could have brought some more food with me as well. But for those of you that have been here for a little while, you will remember this weird hole in the ground here. And this is the quickest way down to the lower levels for me. And you will take note that there is actually, in fact, a lot of netherrack here. Now, why are we after netherrack? It is, of course, because we can break it down in the de uh, chemical decomposer into uh, osmium, of course. So I'm going to spend some time going through, breaking some stuff down, grabbing some glowstone dust. Uh, and I will be back once I've collected a whole load of stuff and started putting things in the chemical synthesizer. Oh, look. Bedrock. All right, that's an admirable amount of destruction, and I've run out of charge on my pick, so we're just going to get out of here now. There is a zombie around somewhere. He's just down here, isn't he? Thankfully, we don't have to worry about him. Yeah, I'm just going to make my escape and fly out of here. Woo! Oh, I always forget quite how slow this is. Uh, at some point, we want to come back and explore a few caves out, I think. Just, you know, just to explore a few caves. I think that'd be good. I've gone the wrong way. This way. Let's see if we can't jump up on top of this tree. 
So I'm just going to drop literally all the netherrack into there. And, oh, I have an oxygen issue. Uh, this is no problem, though. I'm just going to literally throw them away. Uh, I've just had so much oxygen. I don't know how to deal with it all. Um, and there we go. Okay, cool. That's on its way. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at it all. Look at it all. Control, shift, Q. Get out of my inventory. Yeah, we're going to let them despawn back there. Uh, so much oxygen. Look, look at it. It's just overflowing. But thankfully, we should be getting more osmium here. We can watch them going up as we are talking. So I'm going to take a small cut here, and we'll come back when I can make more ingots. Okay, so I crushed down an iron ingot into the pulverizer. This gave us this pulverized iron. If I put this in the middle of the crafting grid here and surround it by osmium we get ourselves a gas tank uh, and then hopefully with a clickety click no not a clickety click I always find something that doesn't allow me to do the uh, cr fast crafting but that's alright we can just very quickly pop that out and go yeah stepping along the line now this is stuff that needs to be so like, I've never used this metallurgic infuser I'm probably gonna have to use it soon but we're gonna take it away for now and pop this down in its pl cat place the osmium compressor i'm also going to move because this is not what we want to deal with right now i put it into my inventory i was like where did it go i don't see me pick it up uh, in fact i'm not going to put that there i'm going to put this one here so i can get at the uh, the chest back there and pop that there brilliant wonderful the next one we need to get on is of course the chemical injection plant the chemical injection chamber okay lots of weird stuff here including these reinforced alloys and stuff like that but uh, what I am immediately drawn to is this block in the middle. Because if we click down... Oh, look, there's something else we need to do. But let's click down again. Oh, wow. And click down one more. This is the bottom level thing. Wow. Much crafting needs to be done. So uh, I need to go away and, like, gather some materials and things like that. And I will be back with a whole pile of stuff to hopefully show you how this is get made. Okay, so these first two steps should be relatively simple. If you put this middle one here, still in the corners, and then surround it with electrical ingot, probably find out we put it in the wrong way. No, that is correct. Okay, so then we want to put these basic control circuits top and bottom. The steel casing in the middle. I believe iron either side, and then redstone in all the corners. And this gives us the enrichment chamber, which we kind of already had, but I needed another one to keep going down. Now, this next one, a little bit more complicated, so this is going to take maybe another cut to get done. We need some enriched alloys, some osmium, and some advanced controls, which also need enriched al um, alloys, which tells me we actually need three enriched alloys. No, sorry, five enriched alloys, six. Six enriched alloys. Let's, let's go get to, to that. So as always, I don't want to just make one of anything. So I'm going to pop into this enrichment chamber and kind of enrich up some of this redstone. Now, why am I doing that? Well, it's just more efficient, basically. And I'm going to wait for this bar to come across and then I'll show you exactly how it's more efficient. So I'll get the, the compressed redstone out and get some of this normal iron here. Go to the metallurgic infuser, put the redstone in that side and the iron in here. And it should hopefully go all the way through. Now, I'm looking at the amount of power we've got here and I feel like we're going to have to move this back over to a powered segment but that shouldn't be too much trouble in fact it's not too much trouble at all if we just wait this out maybe we'll be able to move it when it's uh, done a few things so full charge is only enough for two it turns out and you lose your compressed redstone when you move it okay no not the worst thing in the world that that's all right I can deal with that now we don't want to put too much in the main reason for that being the fact that we want to only enrich six of them Okay, seven is a good start. I'm going to take this extra one off and pop it in my little chest of spare parts here, along with all the others that we had. Okay, the next bit we need to do is go along and make these advanced control circuits. Relatively simple. I need some transistors and some capac capacitors to take with me. In fact, two of those and two of those. Oh, look, we're nearly out of capacitors again. That is, like, pretty much the bane of my life. I think we might need to make a, a little machine that just makes these. Okay, so if I pop that up there uh yeah that that is what we want to do so what i'm going to do is pop two of these in if i can all right let's just throw the whole lot in i'm sure it will do everything in its power to do so and we need some resin are we completely out of resin i have not ah okay i need to get on this would help if i actually observed the things in front of me we we're of course short of the redstone no biggie though though we are definitely going to run out of uh, resin again and i only have the one spruce tree cut down let's go over here and have a look there's another spruce tree that's all that is why i keep these pure breeds let's have a quick look at the farm doing well how much sludge do we have about double what i had last time i looked at it 
We need to uh, start our tree expansion out a little bit more, just to, to fill this area up, I think. Uh, it's nice having all these basic trees. Did I not get a sapling out of that? Okay, let's beat a few of these up. It's nice to have all these basic trees around, but it would be nicer to have like a full-blown... Oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, a full-blown display of all the trees that could be got. But that said, wow, the number of trees is redunculous. Okay, let's try and put some... Get out of here. Let's try and put this in here and squeeze that down. That should make us enough resin for at least a few more. I mean, we only want the two. That's why I've only put that much redstone in. In fact, I'm going to do that. Did I just... No, I, th I thought I'd completely mess something up there. That's no bother, though. Right, that's those two. What else do we need? It is, of course, some more osmium. Uh, I really... As I have said many times in this playthrough so far, need to put a dimensional traveller up here, and a travel anchor, sorry, somewhere up here. Maybe like this spot here. It'd be a nice place to come in at, wouldn't it? Okay, Osmium. We need at least 32 bits. Do we have 32? We've got 51, so that should be okay. Yeah, Osmium. Okay, and it should just simply be a case if I've got all the stuff of going down and clicking that one. No? Okay, we'll put the enrichment chamber in the middle. We're going to have these two across this way. The, the circuit boards top and bottom, and then the enriched alloys all the way around. Purification chamber. Woo! Step three of four is complete. This is now the one we need to get on, and it is. Ooh, we need all this reinforced alloy, which is compressed diamond. Uh, mixed with stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go do the same with the same with the diamond as we did with the redstone. We need to take it here and go pop it in the compressor. This one here, in fact, the enrichment chamber. Let's take that down and pop that there. We're going to once again have a long wait. That's okay though. We can definitely deal with that now. Was this completely done? Well, it did a lot. It did a lot, a lot. That's all good though. Uh, I've got a feeling we're going to need another six. Six just seems to be the classic number we need here. So I'm going to pop them in there and see if the enrichment chamber is done. It is compressed diamond in there. And hopefully we should do all six of these. In fact, I'm going to put a load more in. We don't want to waste the diamond after all. I mean, it's 90. How much is it going to happen if it hits one? Uh, I'm hoping that it's actually just going to be 80. Okay, so that means we're going to do all 10 that I've put in here. Top job. So that's all 10 of those done. The next thing is, of course, these elite circuits. Uh, we're going to need another capacitor. We are one capacitor short. Okay, if you guys give me a moment, I will get on making a few more of those. So, guys, we have a little bit of a problem. So you will remember that I was keeping my Einsteinium in there. I took it out and BAM! Dead. Just, like, straight out dead. I, I, ooh, I'm not even sure where that happened. But more importantly... Where is my gravestone? There's a lot of very important stuff in that gravestone, including a lot of the stuff that I need to uh, finish this next segment I need to do. Let's come up here. Is it here? It's not here. Oh. Oh. Has ra is radioactive decay like a funny thing that steals your gravestones off you? I really hope not. Uh, where, where would it come through? Here? Oh, guys. Oh, no. No. Like All that stuff I'd just been building was on me. Oh, there's no where where would it be? My my jetpack, my just every like robot, did you pick stuff up? Nope. Oh, oh, we've lost all the stuff. Ah It never rains but it pours. I didn't die this time, but literally I was just going and looking around for my gravestone, because you know I kind of want my gravestone back. And one of those massive ghasts with a big explosion radius decided to come and get me, and I'm now starving. But look at the hole in the side of my wall. Like, what? And my, and my t gun turrets didn't help. Ah, oh, I've just... Oh, suddenly, things have gone from not very good to a lot worse. Oh, look at all this fire on the go. Let's try and put this out here. So... Well, what I was doing was coming up here with my pickaxe to see if I can uh, make my way down. No, it's just full on uh, obsidian. So yeah, my yeah, no, my my gravestone's actually gone. Well, I haven't put the door in yet, but I got my floor all back together, and that's looking pretty spankingly gorgeous. Also, whilst I was away, I managed to get all this stuff done, which is quite nice. So I'm gonna pop that up here because this was of course the what the last machine we needed before we could make the clay we were gonna use have I gone wrong somewhere 
Hadn't at all grabbed the wrong type of alloy. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, I wouldn't do such a simple mistake, would I? Uh, the chemical injection chamber. I think we're going to replace the metallurgic infuser as we are kind of running short of space. And only because of that, I, I'm going to have to punch through another wall at some point and make a new room. Maybe electrify this little bit here. Yeah, that, that works as well. We'll do that. Okay, anyway, what we're supposed to be doing here is getting these gas bottles, which, of course, also got blown up. Give me one second. Okay, and with a bush and a bash, we should have made the gas tank. Okay, now somehow we can put this into this little machine here, the rotary condensator Trentor, or whatever that is. Uh, and we want it in which direction do we want it? Tog toggle operation, condensation, or decon... I, I don't know. How do I put water in here? Does that work? Is this going over to this? This is kind of what I want. I'm hoping it's going to do the thing we want it to, but I don't know... Whether that's the right way or not. Let's have a look at the recipe. Somewhere in here... Oh, that, that's not very helpful. Water vapour to water on the deconcentrate blah, blah, blah one. Yeah, okay, so that's working. And there we go, water vapour. It took a while to get going. I'm not sure why it took so long, but we finally got there. That's cool. Okay, so I'm guessing it takes a thousand, a hundred even. No, okay, how do I put that in there? Like that, there we go, stored water vapour. You can see it is counting up now. Uh, obviously, it must have gone in there when I clicked on this because it would have tried to empty it and move it all down. But I'm going to wait until this has got completely filled up because that's going to take a while and go grab a load of, I believe it is dirt, maybe sand. I'll be back. For those of you that are thinking dirt's not a free resource, where are you getting it from? I'm going to grab these oak saplings and wander back. You can see I've been cutting down loads of spruce trees. Uh, I put the spruce in the ender farm over there because we need to crush it down for resin. And that's for like all the circuit boards and things like that. Just thought I'd give you an update there. But yes, now I put these all in here. And it takes a lot, but you do get your cellulose back. So this is where you get all of the uh, the cellulose you need for the dirt and then over here i've also got some silicon dioxide this of course comes in spade loads from all the obsidian that is around that's not quite enough uh, cellulose there there we go cool and then literally just in here i believe it's one in the middle and one up top i can't quite remember there we go brilliant uh, and then we take this over yonder now it was the chemical injector which is this one here we're going to put the dirt up top and then we're going to take the cylinder out here if it's done is it done it's got a thousand in it so i hope it's done and we can put that there and brilliant look at this here we go Alright, that's our first clay block of a thousand that we need to make. Uh, in fact, what we need to do is to actually break this down. So we only need to make 250 clay bro blocks. No problem. No problem. And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time where I'm actually going to have to try and figure out where we get uh, beryllium from. Uh, the one that belongs here. Because I need to make a load of emeralds so I can make some vibrant crystals. So I can upgrade all my stuff because obviously we ain't got no upgraded stuff. But yes, I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye! Well, it looks like I just get to spend the rest of the day doing this. This is not what I wanted to do. Oh god, that was long for.